How's it going and welcome to the Guitar Effect. My name's Rob. In this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at this pedal board, which is the new X Cerberus combined with the Joyo American sound, or in my case, a Moon American sound, um, predominantly. And there's a, a obviously a power brick here and a tuner here um, on a pedal board, a pedal train Metro 16. And the idea of this is to put together a super affordable direct rig. So this doesn't use an amplifier, it just goes straight to the PA for live or straight to recording interface for recording. And really is amazingly impressive. This this nooks or a new X Cerberus really is amazing. And then this has just become a bit of a stalwart for me. It, it just works every single time I try to get a direct sound. It, it's a Fender amp emulation pedal. So the first thing we should do is take a listen to it in a track. So here you go. So there you go. I think for those kind of Southern rock kind of sounds or grungy rock kind of sounds, this rig works really, really, really well. Um, just to bring you through it, right? So what you have is you have the Cerberus here, which is a multi-effects unit, but a multi-effects unit with no screens or anything, which is amazing. Um, it's just like what you see is what you get. You've got a uh, boost, overdrive, distortion, modulation, and delay and reverb. And then in the effects loop, you have this uh, preamp pedal, which is like a Fender preamp pedal that goes right from Fender Twins right up to Fender Supersonics in terms of being able to do clean or distorted sounds, but it is only one sound at a time. It's all powered by this MXR power brick. And then I've added this tuner because in my initial demo review of the Cerberus, the tuner that's on board is fine, but in, I needed the extra accuracy of the tuner. And that's this board, right? So what happens is um, there's also a cabinet simulation or impulse response uh, loading facility on the Cerberus. So I've just loaded in using the editor um, an external Line 6 um, 112 Deluxe Reverb impulse response, which is the impulse response I always use. Um, the software is really good. It allows you to do it really, really easily and effectively. So right now what's happening is signal comes in, goes through the first part of the Cerberus, which is the boost delay or boost overdrive and distortion, comes out of that, goes into the American sound preamp, comes back into the Cerberus, goes through the modulation delay and reverb, then goes through the cabinet simulation and then goes to the output. And then in this case, I'm plugging it directly into my interface, which you could plug it directly into a mixing desk and get the exact same results. So that's the, that's the board. So the first thing we should do now, uh, next I should say, is take a listen to how this thing actually sounds. Um, so here's the audio demo. Okay, so for the purpose of this demo, plug straight into the Cerberus board, right? Um, out of the board, straight into the interface, like my audio interface, my focus, right, Scarlet 6i6, and then into my DAW, okay? So there's no ampli amplifier in play here at all. All the amplification, is being simulated by the American sound and the cab sim on the Cerberus, right? So how this will work will be, I'm gonna build up the elements to go from a direct guitar sound to an amp sim guitar sound using the cab sim and the Amun um, American sound. And then I'll add different effects on the Cerberus to show you how you build up different guitar sounds. I'm not gonna go into the sonic capabilities and switching capabilities of Cerberus. I have a video about the Cerberus that I made separately and you can see that here. Okay, so here is the guitar into the Cerberus board and into the desk with nothing on. Okay, so I turn on the American sound. Starts to get a little bit more um, 
amp like neck pickup the level is very low until then you turn on the cab sim really starts to sound like an amp name and that's basically all you do so it goes from sounding like a direct guitar to sounding like a turn and amp it's also worth noting that you can set this pedal whatever way you want so for example if i bring the voice and the drive up and the level down i get a dirty guitar sound and i can control that tendiness with my volume up so if you prefer to start with a solid rock sound and have that all the time you can do that just by changing the settings on the American sound but I don't I want it as a clean pedal platform so I'll bring these back a little bit more drive just for a little bit more kind of character selector switch and just tell you it's a bit dodgy just to kind of give it a bit of love so that's basically your amp sim sound right i am using a third party ior that's free from line six is a lower pack of their deluxe 112 cabinet so then to build up a nicer guitar sound the first thing i'm going to do is turn on the reverb so i have the reverb allocated to this control switch at the end Just a spring reverb. The next thing I'll do is I'll show you that the uh, the overdrive works great. My pedal takes it really well, as in the American sound takes it. Distortion. Same. I can combine them then for a lead sound. Sorry. Works great. You can then add, say, a univibe. Sounds like I'm playing a univibe to an amp. And then maybe a delay. So all the effects and everything work great. And I, I, by the way, right now, the way it's wired is guitar, drive, distortion, actually guitar boost, drive, distortion, amp, as in preamp, right? Because it goes to the pedal then. Then it goes modulation, delay, cab simulation, output, which is the exact way you would want, ideally, to have your signal chain set up. can even use my volume knob to control dynamics with the drive on. Works great. So that's kind of it, right? So the American sound works great in this situation as a direct amp replacement and combined with the Cerberus, it makes a, a really powerful, very, very, very affordable direct rig. So I'll just show you that if I've changed preset mode by holding down the switch, I have four presets set up here. This is a clean preset. And then go to a slightly dirty preset with a big uni vibe on. Apologies for that, I'm going to switch that off. Ah, I'm still getting used to this unit. Just switch them off here and then save it. So, back to preset mode. Clean. Overdrive. I would 
distortion sound. And then I have a lead sound at the end. Not the best lead player, but you get the idea. So, yeah, it just shows you that the American sound works great as a Fender style amp replacement. I also think if you prefer a Vox or a Marshall sound, you could stick the the AC version of this or the British version of this in, and it would do the same job. And like I said, you can set the controls of the American sound or whatever pedal to be as dirty as soon as you want as your amp replacement, and then just combine it with effects from the Cerberus and got a really really affordable cheap and um, powerful direct like recording or live solution so there you go there's not a huge amount to say here really it just works really well like i said if you want to watch the detailed video of how the cerberus works you can do so in the video i've already pointed to it but it'll be in the description and it'll be at the end of the video and I've made many videos about the American sound and I think it's a really, really brilliant pedal. So combine the two of them. I mean, you could you could put this board together for under 200 euro, definitely, for every part of it. Second hand, obviously. The Cerberus, I think, is about 250 euro new. The um, American sound is about 30 euro new. So even brand new, it's under 300 euro for this pedal board, which I think is amazing. Um, so yeah, a really, really great direct recording or gigging pedal board solution um, as, as an alternative to like a multi-effects unit with amp modeling on board. It's, it's one amp sound, but that's the way I play anyway. I don't bring 27 amps to a gig and switch between them at my, as I want to, I bring one amp to a gig and then I flavor that with pedals and effects, which is exactly what this rig is doing. So um, thanks for watching. If you've got this far as always, I appreciate it. If you liked what you see, drop a comment below, let me know what you think. And, um, or if you don't like, equally drop a comment down below and let me know why. And please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it um, for more content like this, I guess. And I will see you in another video again soon. Take it easy, bye bye.